Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2023 Volkswagen Atlas SE with technology for motion. This particular one has a four-cylinder turbo and it's deep black pearl effect on the exterior with Shetland beige leatherette on the interior, captain's chairs, and a panoramic sunroof. It features keyless entry on all four doors, push button start, that nice bowl line down the side, black wheel package, chrome window sills, chrome Atlas name badge on the back, and chrome faux exhaust tips below the oversized reflector. It says Atlas right here at the base of the logo, SE off to the left, and 4Motion off to the right. If it says SEV6, that's how you know it's a six cylinder. If it doesn't have the V6, you know it's a turbo. Let's take a look inside. Before we climb in, Shetland beige door inset here, arm pad right here, armrest, and uh, just the door handle here. All of the switches are trimmed out in black. There's your power lift gate. Lift up on that guy to open, and you lift up and hold to close. So the power lift gate is back for 2023, guys. Here's a look inside. Power lumbar right here. You're forward and back and up and down right here. Seat back adjust here. Contrast stitch down the edge of the leatherette here and also up the shoulders and the bolster. A double contrast stitch in the adjustable headrest here. It's manually adjusted. A double contrast stitch on the arm pad here. There's a look through. There's the captain's chairs, light gray colored headliner and also power sunshade there's a look at the passenger seat over there your captain's chairs with the new wider armrests and as we climb in here's a look at the digital cockpit three main views this is your dial screen and by hitting this view button here i can change it between that and the wide screen and also this crop screen now the vent, the vent setups are right here across the dash there's four of them and then also uh, it's trimmed out in this flat silver finish here, even around the door handles. Wood grain interior on, a, on the door inset here at the top. Trimmed out in that flat silver that goes around the door handle and door locks. You have automatic headlights there. Also poor weather lights. I can pull out on this guy to activate those. They replace fog lights and push in to turn that off. Um, you do have a coin box for storage right here. And this is an adjustable steering wheel, manually adjusted. Just pull out, push in, raise it, lower it, lock it where you need it. And you have it there. You do also have um, the, the uh, volume control over here on the left side. There's right there, it's kind of hard to see those icons right there, there we go. And then over here on the right, you have song skip and preset skip right there. Uh, for your cruise control, you do have uh, right here, a button to turn that on and off. Travel assistance or your assistance features, you have adaptive cruise control, regular cruise control, side assist, and rear traffic alert, and then uh, also you'll have front assist. So no deletes on this car. So I can turn that off too. And then I can also change what's displayed here by using the mouse setup here. I can go up and down and change what's displayed in that center display there. Uh, most people are gonna go with speed or miles to empty. You do also have these left and right buttons here so I can tab left and tab right. There's vehicle status, telephone, audio, compass, and then the assist systems are back. Um, and then driving data right there. Over here on a radio, it's an AM, FM, and satellite radio with gesture control. As long as you see that little hand icon right there, you can wave your hand in front of that, freak out your kids, even your neighbors. They'll think you're a Jedi. Pretty cool. You do also have App Connect, which allows you to do Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, or MirrorLink on this car wirelessly. And if you want to do it old school, you do have two USB-C connectors right here. They're also backlit. Wireless charging pad down here and a 12-volt charger port right there. The backup camera on this car is pretty awesome as well. I can also put this uh, in, I can show it two ways. I can put it in reverse or use this little button right here to activate it. But I've got it in reverse right now. There's a look at your trajectory steering. Turn the wheel left, turn the wheel right. I can uh, see where I'm headed. The red line signifies where the bumper is. The green line signifies straight back. I'll put it back in park. I'm actually gonna turn on the rain sensing wipers because it's starting to drizzle a little bit again. So one click up, rain sensing wipers are on and they just go accordingly. Uh, while we're looking up here, Here's a look at that vanity mirror right there. You do have, I'm sorry, the um, home link mirror, excuse me. This is an auto dimming mirror with a digital compass right there. 
It has four buttons down here, three buttons for garage door memory, and then a fourth button, it's a Bluetooth button there. Auto dimming, set it once and you're done. You do have a vanity mirror on each side with an LED light. Both sides, there's a light above. And here's a look at that giant panoramic sunshade hiding that, sh that giant panoramic sunroof. Very nice. That pane of glass will stack on top of that one there when you open this up. I'll open it for a second here, but it is raining, so I'm gonna do it quick. Pop-up windscreen right there. That stacks on top of that pane of glass there. The glass is tinted as well. Go ahead and close that back up. Carnet buttons are all right here, or my VW buttons here. These are similar to what OnStar is. You have an information button here, roadside assistance and emergency services right there. Look at the car here. You have the Shetland beige on the dash right across here and also and onto the glove box your manuals are right here your tire warranties are right here in the ziploc bags the shetland beige continues down the entire door panel there just below that wood grain right there into the pockets for bottles or cups the seat trimmed out with this contrast stitch right here this is a heated seat as well it's completely manual though there's a lever here to slide it forward and back over here on this side there is a seat back adjust right here with that handle but this seat will not raise or lower being an SE tech. You have to go up to the SEL where this seat becomes a power seat. Inside the armrest here, nice deep pocket here. You can get a medium sized person here easily. Uh, there's a USB-C connection in here giving you three so far. Um, then you can also get a drop-in safe to uh, conceal uh, valuables in here. Uh, it bolts in with two bolts and it still gives you access to this USB-C connection here. The cup holders are right here, gloss black finish right here. This is an all-wheel drive unit, so it does have this little shift knob right here, or this little uh, mode mod uh, knob. You can turn it to the snowflake, get the snow mode right there. Then you also have Eco, Normal, Sport, or Custom on this one. I can touch on the screen and get lots of fingerprints on here, or I can do buttons right here and just push and save myself some fingerprints. Also off-road and off-road custom off-road custom is going to allow you to tweak different things here turn on and off hill descent hill start assist park assist uh all-wheel drive you can change it between off-road and normal uh steering you can do sport or normal drivetrain you can do off-road or normal and then adaptive cruise control normal eco or sport or comfort so you have those different ones there um and i can turn this knob back to the roadway here and now i'm back to here uh let's take a look at the back seat or the middle row, I should say. This one comes in, before we hop in here, this one comes in at 45167 That includes 1200 bucks for the panoramic sunroof, 695 bucks for second row captain's chairs, 595 for the 20 inch black wheel package, 385 for the auto dimming home link mirror, 327 for monster mats, 1295 for destination charge, bringing you to that 45167 as we open up the back here, here's a look at the door inset here. There's a sunshade built into both doors in the back. Arm pad right here is trimmed out. It's leatherette and it's trimmed out in Shetland beige. The whole door panel is Shetland beige except for the window switch here. There's a speaker embedded right here. Here's a look at the seats. More contrast stitching right here on the edge. This new icon up here on top to help you with remembering how to open and close the seats here. There's a look at the captain's chair there. And as we climb in here, pockets here and also over here your vent setup is here you can actually uh, control vent controls from here fan speed temperature right here auto and then uh, the vent setup as well and turn it off and it's also a mat there's also a way to lock it out up there there's a look up at the giant panoramic sunroof so your front two rows of passengers are under glass very nice there's a look at your instrument cluster right there the infotainment system and the shifter right there door inset back here more shetland the entire door panel again storage for bottles and cups there uh and there's a little storage cubby right there as well the seats right here durable now if you need heated seats for a second row you'll need to move up to an sel premium and then that's also an r line uh, that will get you uh heated second row seats and heated and ventilated seats up front there's a look at the third row seats there adjustable headrest just flick it up with the with a flick of a wrist there you've got uh those headrests up where you need them a sculpted roof line back here so you can have a six foot plus passenger back here in the back and they're not going to complain seat belt clips over here on the sides to clip the seat belts out of the way if you're carrying cargo so they don't get entangled and uh, worn out 
there's a look around again let's take a look at the rear hatch here's a look at those alloy wheels these are the same silver wheels that come on the regular SE Tech. However, they're painted gloss black. Power lift gate back here in the back. There's a look through from the back to the front. Giant panoramic sunroof there again, to a true six seater. The back of the seats here, the second row and the third row are, are covered in black carpet. There's a steel plate in the back of these seats, all four of them, they're still plated. So in the event of a crash, a rear impact, any kind of impact at all cargo back here by physics will want to drive forward it keeps it from penetrating the seat and injuring people in the seats two usb-c connections right there that are also backlit another two right down there with a three-prong plug-in also that are also backlit and a, a uh, recessed trunk light right here on this side and also over on this side here bag hook right here 12 volt charger port right there this one has mojo mats right here and then also um, the cargo blocks there and underneath the floor here there's a spare tire down there underneath that carpeted floor there you just unscrew that guy there pull out the floor and the spare is underneath this car will come with a four year 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen four years 50,000 miles and includes two years of free maintenance so you're 10 and 20,000 mile oil change are covered by Volkswagen also if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's I'm gonna give you a third year of free maintenance as well that's a local deal only though You'll have to come to my dealership to claim that third year of free maintenance. Also, if you buy from me, remember, you can fly in and drive out. I'll pick you up at the airport, and you can drive your car home. I will give you a 10-year, 200,000-mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. 10 years, 200,000 miles nationwide engine and powertrain warranty that's free of charge. If you're interested in a car like this one or this specific car, give me a call. 636-290-4257. 636-290-4257. Remember, I can also order a car for you. In my market, we are allowed to order cars still. It's still a thing. We can still do that for you. Some markets around the country won't allow you to order cars. We do. We're not marking our cars up. No addendums, no extra fees, just a $399 admin fee. So give me a call. Again, I've given you my number, 636-290-4257. TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram resells cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a great day.